Hello Hans, this is uh, the instruction video for our house in Auselit. Um I thought it was a very good idea of you to do so, so I uh, decided to make one myself for you. Uh, let's start here on the street. Um, don't mind the noise, usually it's not so noisy, but somebody's uh, doing something in the garden I think. This is uh, the, the Toyota Prius, I don't know how you call that in America. We call it Prius. And this is the uh, Chevrolet. The Chevy is usually there, parked there on the other side of the street because it, it really blocks the, the side of the uh, people coming from these houses here. So, and because it's, it has dark windows, so uh, usually we put it there and then the, the neighbor's car is now gone, which usually, that's the car of Jacques Michel, which was living there. It's, pro it's usually standing next to it, so both parked uh, oblique to the road, to the curb. Uh, so, um, it's two cars here, and the entrance to our... Um, to our garden, this is the mailbox uh, of which there's a key uh, we will label properly and uh, you better empty it uh, once a day, it's being filled at noon I think, something like that, but uh, sometimes it gets too full. The regular newspaper, the daily newspaper, uh, I'll try to block it because you probably won't read touches uh, anyway. So. Uh, uh, but the, the mail, the, the mail, the newspaper is already is usually uh, d delivered in the in the front door and not in the mailbox. Here are the bicycles. Uh, there's only two now here, but there are usually more. But all the killed children are gone. Uh, today this is a for an adult bicycle for a male adult, and here are that's a, that's a, actually a reserve bicycle. These are the two bicycles of Sandra and myself. This is Marika's bicycle, maybe for your eldest. She, that's the smallest bicycle we have. Uh, and this one is Tom's and it's a little bit larger. But the neighbors will have uh, smaller bicycles for you. Uh, the neighbors, neighbors living next door, so and I'm looking at the neighbor's house now. And they've, they've got small children about your age. Uh, the age of your children, I mean. So here are the dustbins, or the garbage cans, how you call those. Um, those go to the curb on uh, on various days, and I've written down in the written manual uh, on what days they are going to be emptied. Uh, they have to be put with the with the wheels uh, pointing towards the house because it's automated. Uh, so there's a robot arm lifting them up. Um, but you just look at how the neighbors do it and do it the same way. So this is the front door. We sometimes use this one and sometimes you use the back door. Most of the times you use the back door. You can use this as well. And there are two locks in here, which we use. Uh, the small the small locks in the t on the top and on the down, on the bottom part of the door we, we use with a, a key which I have here. Let me see, uh, this key, it's a round long one, a little bit strange key which goes into the holes and you can lock it, it uh, would you only lock it at night or when we're away for a couple of days. So and this lock here doesn't work, so it, it, well, it works in, in the sense that it falls into this lock but you can't really, you can't really lock it with it. So here is a, uh, a small gate which you want to close before it, the small children because in the front garden there is a pond um, as you may, maybe can see this pond was qu quite overgrown with all kinds of plants and stuff but it's actually quite deep I think it's uh, 70 or 80 centimeters deep so uh, that lets, that's two, more than two feet deep so you probably be careful with the children that they don't fall in and drown. We have a small bench in here. Let's go further. It's actually, this part of the garden, the, the, the parts that are here just in front of the house are very dry. 
uh, because uh, uh, there is a very large tree here, birch tree, which sucks up all the moist. So if it's very dry period of the, of the year, like now, it's quite dry. It's very beautiful weather the last couple of days. Um, we'd like to host them once in a while, so uh, the plants don't die. Same kinds, for, of course, for the pots. Um, so we now going besides the house. Here's a small gate to the neighbors. Um, well, here's the back garden where we have the shed, uh, which was actually a garage, but we, well, as you'll see, we made it into a uh, an office first, and now we just use it for living space. And there's a picnic table here. The football shoes of my youngest daughter still on there. Uh, so there is the shed, uh, and there's a couple of things I want to show in that. Um, so here's a working bench with some, well it's a little bit messy now, I'll clean it up before you come. Here's some uh, tools, most tools are in this Stanley box. Uh, here is the uh, mowing machine, electrical mowing machine. I think once in a week, once a week uh, is the best frequen frequency of mowing the, the lawn. It takes only 10 minutes. And you use this rope for connecting it to the electricity. And the electricity has to go out again. And then here, to the right side of the door, there is the socket for the electricity which you use outside can, you, can be used for anything but I use it for the mower here's the large um, freezer which you mainly contains uh, bread, pizzas, ice cream fish, seafood and some vegetables but it's mainly bread and and a fish, some ice cream as well. It's quite packed now, but free, feel free to use anything you like. Then there is this, a heating device for the shower in the uh, in the what we call the office, which is not an office anymore, but we'll still call it the office, uh, which I'll show you later. And then here, this is an important thing. The here is a switch somewhere here behind this, this switch is being used for the lights the uh, the lights and the heater on the terrace which I'll show you in a minute so this is the only light switch that you need for outside because the, all the other lights are on timers so you don't need to bother about them um, if you want to go uh, away with the Chevrolet and you don't have space enough you can put this on the Chevrolet this is a ski box which can go on the Chevrolet, not on the Toyota though, so just for the Chevrolet. Uh, well, I think that's it. This is a reserve, an extra uh, gas bottle for the barbecue. This is wood, you can use for, well, use it for the uh, inside st um, stove, but it. It's now being used for fires only, like in a fireplace. You can, the kids like to make fires, of course. So there is uh, here. There is the back patio with a. Um, this is nice and, and cool when it's hot, and even when it's rains, you can eat outside. And here is the heater that I was talking about, the terrace heater, which works on the uh, on the switch that I just shown you. But you don't forget to put in this plug as well because um, the, only, the same switch works on the light so uh, if it's hot like today uh, we only use these uh, these lights for when we eat outside or